So a chemical pregnancy, by definition, is having a positive pregnancy test, but losing the pregnancy before you get to the stage where you can clinically see a baby or a pregnancy on the ultrasound. So that would mean you get a positive test, you're pregnant, you have all your pregnancy symptoms, which are those same high progesterone symptoms, nausea, fatigue, sore breasts, but then you start bleeding a week later and you miscarried. But by the time you go see the doctor, there's nothing in the uterus. This is going to be considered a chemical pregnancy. A clinical pregnancy is when you can see a baby on the ultrasound or at least a gestational sac. So if we think about it and we use our timeline, here's a period. You ovulate at two weeks. Implantation's a week after that. Pregnancy test is a week after that. You're at the four-week mark. It's about six weeks, so two more weeks before you can have that clinical pregnancy and see a pregnancy on ultrasound. That's when you know a pregnancy is in the uterus. After this, you can still lose a pregnancy, although the odds of losing a pregnancy do decrease significantly if you've had a positive heartbeat on the ultrasound, then your odds of miscarriage drop to five to 10%.